Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. The great affair is to move. Life is not a matter of holding good cards, but of playing a poor hand well. I kept always two books in my pocket, one to read, one to write in. There is no duty we so much underrate as the duty of being happy. By being happy we sow anonymous benefits upon the world. You think those dogs will not be in heaven, uh, I tell you they will be there long before any of us. Keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. There are no foreign lands, it is the traveler only who is foreign. The cruelest lies are often told in silence. To be what we are, and to become what we are capable of becoming, is the only end of life. You can give without loving, but you can never love without giving. To know what you prefer instead of humbly saying Amen to what the world tells you you ought to prefer, is to have kept your soul alive. There are two things that men should never weary of, goodness and humility, we get none too much of them in this rough world among cold, proud people. You cannot run away from a weakness, you must sometimes fight it out or perish, and if that be so, why not now and where you stand? All human beings, as we meet them, are commingled out of good and evil, and Edward Hyde, alone, in the ranks of mankind, was pure evil. Our business in life is not to succeed, but to continue to fail in good spirits. I regard you with an indifference closely bordering on aversion. I wish a companion to lie near me in the starlight, silent and not moving, but ever within touch. For there is a fellowship more quiet even than solitude, and which, rightly understood, is solitude made perfect. Perpetual devotion to what a man calls his business is only to be sustained by perpetual neglect of many other things. It is not so much for its beauty that the forest makes a claim upon men's hearts as for that subtle something, that quality of air that emanation from old trees that so wonderfully changes and renews a weary spirit. It is perhaps a more fortunate destiny to have a taste for collecting shells than to be born a millionaire. Books are good enough in their own way but they are a mighty bloodless substitute for life. Death, like a host, comes smiling to the door, smiling, he greets us. On that tranquil shore where neither piping bird nor peeping dawn disturbs the eternal sleep. But in the stillness far withdrawn, our dreamless rest forevermore we keep. My devil had been long caged, he came out roaring. There is no duty we so much under it as the duty of being happy. The secret to a happiness is a small ego and a big wallet. Good wine helps, too, but that's not really a secret, is it? I have been made to learn that the doom and burden of our life is bound forever on man's shoulders and when the attempt is made to cast it off, it but returns upon us with more unfamiliar and more awful pressure. Someday, after I am dead, you may perhaps come to learn the right and wrong of this, I cannot tell you. And the true realism, always and everywhere, is that of the poets to find out where joy resides and give it a voice far beyond singing. For to miss the joy is to miss all. Suicide carried off many, drink and the devil took care of the rest. It is the history of our kindnesses that alone make this world tolerable. If it were not for that, for the effect of kind words, kind looks, kind letters, I should be inclined to think our life a practical jest in the worst possible spirit. All speech, 
written or spoken, is a dead language until it finds a willing and prepared hearer. To be feared of a thing and yet to do it is what makes the prettiest kind of a man. The most beautiful adventures are not those we go to see. For more quotes like share and subscribe.